are at day three of Sea Trade Cruise Global here in Miami Convention Center, South Beach, Miami, Florida. So today at the expo and throughout the week, we have been able to engage with a lot of our colleagues uh, from around the world in the cruise industry. We have over 10,000 attendees here at this trade show, 600 plus exhibitors, um, and many others who are here moving around the convention center and passing through our PNG tourism booth. This convention here at Sea Trade Cruise Global has allowed us, Papua New Guinea, to engage and connect with global cruise industry executives, cruise liners, um, suppliers, and others who are walking through asking questions about Papua New Guinea, curious about Papua New Guinea, and wanting to travel to our beautiful country. It is an incredible opportunity, and us, Papua New Guinea Tourism Promotion Authority, are proud to be part of this convention here at Sea Trade Cruise Global in Miami, Florida. Papua New Guinea has grown substantively over the past 10 years and that is thanks to a lot of the great work that we've been doing across our different government organizations, departments, agencies and of course our stakeholders from the private sector and the cruise industry of Papua New Guinea. In 2019 prior to COVID we had our largest cruise arrival number into Papua New Guinea at approximately 57,000. Post-COVID, cruising globally has come back stronger. In recent times, many larger cruise vessels have sailed into PNG waters along with expeditionary ships. Many of the ships that come into Papua New Guinea visit our coastal communities around the different provinces and also up into the riverways in the Pacific region.